In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the course content and navigating through the course content tool as well as adding modules. It's always a good idea to direct your students to go to course content as that will be their main hub for course materials, course handouts, assignments, quizzes, etc. So it's always a good idea to direct them there first as many students will try to navigate the course through the calendar or perhaps other areas. So we're going to click on course content and we're going to see here that um, we can add modules to the course on the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple modules. We'll add a module for introduction to cats. We'll add a module for cat whiskers, for cat food, and cute cats. Now after I've added these modules, if I decide that I want to move cute cats up on my module list, I can actually do that by mousing over the three line little icon next to the name. This is also known as the hamburger icon if you've heard that before. I'm going to get an arrow and I can take that and I can drag and drop and move that underneath to in an introduction to cats. I can also create sub modules by dragging this and then dropping it into say cat whiskers. I can drag and drop it into there and also make that into a sub module. So to open up a module and add content, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on my Introduction to Cats module, and I'm going to come up here and click Upload Create. So I can click on that and I can add things like files, video or audio, um, checklists, discussions, assignments, quizzes, surveys, I can add a lot of tools from this menu. I'm going to just go ahead and upload a file here. I'm going to upload this picture of a black cat. Okay, so I've uploaded this. Note that the name of the file is a little bit funky, so we're going to go ahead and rename this. I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says the, the arrow next to it. I'm going to click Edit Properties in Place. And I have a lot of options here. I can first rename this file, so I'm going to rename this to Black Cat. I can also add dates and restrictions. We're going to talk a little bit about that later. Another thing I can do is add a description for Black Cat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's not a bad idea to always add descriptions to your content topics, just to let students know what is, is in here, um, what this file type is, what, what they're supposed to do with this file or topic. So I'm just going to put, take a look at this image of a black cat. Note down here you have an option that says required manual. Um, you can actually adjust this. This is the completion tracking. You can change this so that it is not manual to automatic and by default they're actually going to be automatic it's just this particular course has it set to default manual um, you can actually change that setting up in the settings which I'll show you here in just a second there also is an option here to change from draft to published mode uh, or published to draft mode so draft mode means it's not visible to students published mode means it is by default the content topics are going to be published but you can adjust that over here accordingly if I do want to look at global settings, I can come up here to the upper right hand corner and click on settings. And in the settings I have options to uh, change that completion tracking for everything from manual to automatic or back to manual or automatic again. I can also set to organize by content type and also um, show the navigation in the content viewer and I will show you that here in just a second. Let's click on our black cat. And you'll note three different ways to navigate when you're actually in a content item. First of all, there's the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are used. You can click on this back on this introduction to cats to take you back to the previous page. You can also come over here and expand the side panel. This will also allow you to navigate within and between modules. And lastly, you've got these icons, and these are the ones you can toggle in that settings area, the previous and next icons, which will take you to the next and previous items within a module. So that's a brief overview of adding modules and looking at module and content settings in Talon.